welcome back to my channel. We are in Big Bear, California. I don't know if you can see the snow back there, but we're here to do some shopping and some eating and just explore and see what's up here. There is a ton of snow. As you can see, there are people that are here. It's after the holidays. Um, Big Bear is located in Southern California in the San Bernardino Mountains. So we're just here. I love it. This is a place that I used to come when I was younger. We used to have a cabin up here and it's just a great place just to relax. It's a small, quaint little town. And of course there's snow. So hopefully you guys will have some fun exploring with me today. All right, here we go. So of course this is stuff you never see in the desert in Palm Springs, but they are clearing out all the snow just to make some parking lot spaces. I wish I had a toboggan or something. Isn't that so cool? I know for people who live in the snow, you're probably like, what's the big deal? But when you don't see snow in Southern California a lot, this is as close as I'm gonna get to a winter white holiday. We're gonna start to go into the little main street, which is back there, the little village, which is full of really cute little shops. They have so many cute little stores to do some shopping. Here is a cute ice cream and hot cocoa place. It's adorable, the architecture. And look at the poles are decorated still for Christmas, which is cute. Even the trees are decorated for Christmas. So maybe if we're still here at nighttime, we'll get to see these things light up. But I love when communities do this, when they dress up their sidewalks. Christmas is not over. Look at this cute wine, say wine stop, wine shop. <laughs> Again, I love the architecture. Makes you feel so cabiny, so cozy. The Village Sweet Shop for some candy. This is a store on uh, Snow Bride. And oh, some cute yeah. chairs. Look at these. So you can sit and wait. Come to this one and the other one. The ice cream one. So this is the candy store. How cute this place is. And all of these barrels of candy. Holy cow. Look at this. No. This is amazing. These are all different types of saltwater taffy. And then you have your whirly pops. This is like a kid's dream. It's like Willy Wonka. There's an area over there. Ooh, look at a pucker powder. You can literally create your own. And there's a bunch of different pucker powder colors. Let's go over there. And you put them in a bag. And this is gonna escort me to where they have those things. You put them in these tubes and you make your own. Does anyone else remember these tubes? dream. If you're a jelly belly, look at these flavors. And there are lots of places to rest, obviously. Next to Boomers, sportswear and more. <laughs> There's also a village mall with unique shops in it. It's pretty cool. And it expands all the way over here. Let's see if I can get a better shot of this. The village mall extends all the way over here.
here's a community fire pit. How cute you can sit here, enjoy the fire pit, the snow, the shopping, the coffee, the hot cocoa. Ooh, what's that? Look at this beautiful Christmas tree. Let's take a look at it. Look at how beautiful. Okay, this is a real Christmas tree and it also reminds me of Christmas Vacation. National Lampoons, when he opens up the Christmas tree and it's so thick and the branches are so crazy that it breaks his windows. This is awesome and there's lights on it. I love when communities do this, it's so great. These look like LED lights. And then you've got these beautiful ornaments. Come on, this is so cool. And then they look like there's some lights over there to light it up. This is the main area right here. Or the main street. And then here you have the other side. Let me try to do the glare. Look how beautiful that looks. So Vanessa, my sister, picked this up. It's a big bear guide. Eat, shop, do, play, drinks, real estate, and maps. And it's free. We actually got it from one of these little, don't look at my nail, it's gross. We actually got it from a little Thai place that we were eating at for lunch. But look. All right. So it has your guide as to what you need to know how to make the most out of your trip, which is pretty cool. You don't waste your time when you're here. Of course, you can also Google any of this stuff or look it up online, but it has places to eat, the restaurants that are here in this little, kind of a little village center, which is awesome. So we've got lots of dining here, but then they also have your shopping experience. So all the stores and what they are. And then you've got things to do. So water activities. So here's a map of Big Bear Lake. I'll try to keep my shadow, shadow out of it. it. Shows you all the places that you can, that are around the lake or things that you can do. So activities. Just pretty cool boating, water skiing, camping, swimming, fishing. And then they've got places for your RV, top boat fishing sports or spots sports that's cool baldwin lake which is the lake that we came up upon before we got to big bear lake but i love this oh here's some hiking and biking so if you do those things which i do not and then here is let me tilt a little bit big bear mountain trail so if you do any skiing or snowboarding but this is what i would be doing yes elevations day spa <laughs> But this is just a great little find and it's easy. This is your 2021 guide. This is such a cute little place. It's called the Village Shops and Courtyard. It has a bunch of little boutique -y stores in here. But I love it because it looks like Santa's Village. It has snow on the roof. And again, the architecture here is just so whimsy. It feels like I'm in a real Hallmark movie. So these are some of the shops. Ooh, there's a Ben and Jerry's in there. And there are those studio salon and some other small boutiques inside of this village. Okay, this is the main, the main little strip, the main little village. Look at this cute old timey clock. 
Oh my gosh. This looks like it's just a Christmas store. Christmas is not dead. I'm gonna have to come in here. See, Christmas all year round, come on. Who's with me? This is adorable. Here is another place for you to come and eat your treats. And now this is the one that was on the Hallmark movie that we love called Snow Bride. Hot chocolate. And then you've got fudge. And dipped caramel apples. There's lots of treats here. There are literally so many cute places to come and you can do some outdoor dining. Lots of great places. And even though the theaters aren't open, they still have one. So when it reopens soon. Look how great this is. snow on the side and you've got these great little places I've been here to eat before and I loved it, it was really good so you should come check it out you've got patio dining Look how cute it is and this is called 572 social oh my gosh look at all this snow just covering up this walkway. So I don't know if you can see, but those are the mountains back there. This is the main street where you come in, the main entrance. It's just a beautiful, beautiful view. You got the snow on the side. So picturesque. It's called Nottingham Tavern. So I guess it's a little place for you to eat. That's great though. It's beautiful up here, guys. You have to see it in person. It's way better in person. My camera is literally not doing it justice. There's another place where you can eat over there. And again, we are on Pine Knot Avenue. Look at this cute brewing company. I think I've actually been here before. We've got some outdoor dining. There are some great places you can still come and eat. I've been to Saucy Mama's, which is that one right there, and that one's a good one. And back there is Fire Rock. Is that cool in the alleyway? I love it. And here's where you can get. This is the Copper Q. I've been here. They have great espressos, pastries, stuff you can buy. Super cute inside. Okay, so we came into the Copper Q and look at some of this great stuff. I want that. A little bee. I like these ones. Oh, those are beautiful. They're pretty green, huh? I love and it. And Grandma would love this one. It's so cute. I love it. Especially if you're a tea lover. I love tea. Look at these pots. These remind me of Alice in Wonderland. This is such a cute coffee shop. I come here every time I'm here in Big Bear like a vintage vibe as well. You've got Christmas. You have to stop by here if you love coffee like I do.
I love when places sell local products or local produce. This is Big Bear Lake honey. There's some dressings. Look at this jam. Red bell pepper. An Ancho chili. Am I saying that right? And look at this peach chipotle jam. Ooh. Who wants to try this? So cute. Ooh, hot spicy. Okay guys, we are at our next stop. I think there's some miniature golfing here. We're gonna check it out, but look at what's here. We have some really cool slides that you can go down, some toboggan tube stuff. I'll give you guys more details as we head in, but look at what's behind me. Oh, why are they going so fast Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, that looks so fun. That looks so cool. I will not be doing that, oh, yeah. but it looks great. That's fun. <laughs> I would totally do that. <laughs> so great. Just so I can get this name right, it's Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. And here are some prices, just so you guys can see them. And you can see some of the different things to do. I guess during the summer they've got water slides. Okay guys, so we made it. We are at Boulder Bay. It's right outside Big Bear. And it's, um, it's a community park that you can come to and you can build your snowman, do some fun snow play. You can see behind us, we have, I think it's a frozen lake. Yeah, it's a little lake. There. It's a little tiny lake, it's frozen. You can't go on there, but this is just a place where you can come with your family and actually do some snow play, build your snowman just actually hang out in the snow. We drove around for a while looking for places to have fun and everything was private property, a lot of cabins. So this is a great place for you and your family to come and stop at and have some fun and actually get in the snow. So there's a restroom here too, just in case you know your little ones need to use the restroom or whatever, but we're excited because we get to play in the snow and build some snowmen. Yeah. All right, let's do this. So I'm on the outskirts of the park right here, but this is Boulder Bay and it's right off. I'll put the road. I forgot the road that it's right off of. It's off the main road into the Big Bear. But look how beautiful this is. Seriously, this is picturesque. Everyone's playing over there and it's called Boulder Bay because I have gloves on. Oops, sorry. But there are these beautiful big boulders part of this bay. We're here during sunset. It's gorgeous, but it's just so beautiful. You can see where boats dock right there. But we're excited to kind of go and just play in the public snow over there and have a good time. As you can see, some people are just hanging out. For everyone who lives in the snow, you're probably thinking we're crazy, but this is fun, especially when you don't get to do it. But look how gorgeous this is. Oh, it's Ooh. awesome. Here are the restrooms right there. And then here's all the free snow play. So we're gonna try to go back there. There's a gazebo and some more room to kind of play and be a little more socially distant. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. 
and the snow's a little sloshy, but we're gonna have fun. There's Vanessa. <laughs> Stay off lake ice. So you can see back there is the lake. It goes into the bigger lake. This is frozen kind of, but. Look at this dock. It's so trippy because it's frozen, or it, that's not frozen, but the water around it is frozen. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. And look at those homes. Those are gorgeous. But look at this. Can you see the snow or the ice? And you can see someone tobogganed all the way from up here and then slid down that path onto the ice. <laughs> I'm assuming they're okay because it doesn't look like it broke the ice, but that's pretty scary. This is just beautiful. And look at those boulders. Just gorgeous. So again, here's the main road that comes into Big Bear, I believe. And look at these cabins and there's st snow still. Oh my gosh, I feel like my voice is frozen. And the sunset is gorgeous. My hands are frozen. I can't film with my gloves on. But look, this is so cool. This kind of looks like a beautiful picture right out of a Hallmark movie or something painted by Thomas Kincaid. <laughs> This is gorgeous, I love it. This is such a great way to come and spend your Christmas break or your holiday break. Just get out of the desert, just relax, get some hot chocolate. It's beautiful. Okay, so I forgot to film an outro. I was having such a great time in the mountains that I completely forgot. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm back at home where it's 75 degrees, but it was so nice to get to be in the snow, be around cooler weather. It doesn't get that kind of cold here in Palm Springs, but I absolutely loved being up there. So a couple of takeaways, some things that I wanted to share in regards to being up there. Um, there are things to do in regards to, you know, I know some things are shut down in California. What does that look like? Is there anything going on? And there absolutely is. You can also just go and enjoy the little village and you can do some outdoor dining. You can also, there's some cool fire pits that sometimes are on. Um, what else? Okay, so the park was probably one of the best things of the day because it's free to go to Boulder Bay Park. And again, it's right off the main freeway going into Big Bear. Um, and it was beautiful, you know, it wasn't huge, but it was just the right size to go and, you know, build a snowman. If you have little kids, bring some toboggans. I saw some little kids being dragged around in the toboggans and it looked really fun. And it's just a great place to grab some hot chocolate or bring some coffee and, just there are little cute benches where you could sit and just unwind and relax and look at the frozen lake and look at big bear it was big bear lake that we were looking at and just look at some of the beautiful scenery it was really a peaceful way to enjoy coming into 2021 and so i'm going to put as much information as i can in the description below so you guys can check that out and hopefully make the most of your Big Bear trip when you go up there. I absolutely love Big Bear. It just helps me unwind. So dress warm. You're gonna want, if you're gonna do any kind of snow stuff, you're gonna wanna put some gloves on. Um, get like snow gloves that that way it doesn't seep through your, uh, your clothes and get your hands like wet and icy and um, super uncomfortable. Bring a pair of, an extra pair of clothes. We did that too, just in case, you know, we needed extra socks or we needed extra sweaters. 
layer up. It's just better for the weather that's up there, um, especially if you're not used to super cold weather. So do that. And then also if you are a snowboarder, there were some ski lifts, some snowboarding lifts um, in two different places going up to Big Bear and then actually in Big Bear. And that was really cool as well. But with that said, I wanted to also just share with you as we're going into 2021, well, we're already here. I'm doing some praying and fasting and just to see what God would have for this channel. And I'm excited. I'm excited to continue doing some of these travel vlogs that I absolutely love continue doing hair and makeup tutorials, which again, I love because this at the end of the day is a lifestyle vlog. So maybe you're new to the community of faith and you're like, eh, I don't know anything about this Jesus and don't really care. You know, that is totally your prerogative. Um, but maybe you do need some encouragement. This, um, you know, just because it's 2021 doesn't mean we are seeing doesn't mean things change overnight. Doesn't mean that everything's instantly better. You know, this isn't a Cinderella situation that we're walking into. And so my goal and my hope and my prayer is that going into this year, um, I would continue just doing little videos of encouragement. You know, things like stress, anxiety, and worry are on the rise. They were on the rise before 2020. And now they're even more so on the rise as well, along with depression, um, real issues that affect everybody, everyone's family. It's something close to my heart to encourage people on this journey we call life. Again, whether you're a person of faith or you're not, it's still, we're still community. We still need community and we still need each other. We still need someone to encourage us to tell us there is hope for tomorrow, that there is a better day to come, that this isn't the end, that you are not alone, that your life is worth something, that you are a person of value, which is why at the end of every video I do, um, you know, I have that little saying, you know, that you are loved, you are valued, and you bring something to the table because I truly believe that. God has wired us in such a way. He has created us. He has fashioned us. We are called fearfully and wonderfully made. We are not like anybody else. You, my friend, are a unique individual. You are not called to be a copycat. You are called with purpose and destiny in this life, called to do something great, called with purpose, and you are needed, and you do have a seat here at the table. You do have a seat in community. You do have a place, a spot here on this earth. You were born for times such as this, no accident. You are here with so much intention and you are a person of value. And so as I continue this YouTube journey, I wanna continue doing some encouraging videos, you know, along with doing hair and makeup, um, which I, is another passion of mine. I love to be creative and I love style and fashion and things like that. But at the end of the day, this is a platform that I hope to use just to bring you hope, bring you joy, bring you things to discover while I travel and maybe ways to make you feel beautiful and pull together through hair and makeup. But at the end of the day, knowing that this is a platform where I want to spread joy and spread encouragement and spread hope. So with that said, my friend, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps. Give it a thumbs up. It helps as well. And let's continue to grow together to where we are going. This isn't a place of perfection. This is a beautiful journey that we call life. And I'm excited to continue doing that here in 2021 together in this community on this channel. So with that said, friend, remember you are loved, you are valued, and you definitely bring something to the table. Happy 2021 and can't wait to continue the journey. So bye. our breath. It is freezing.